Hi everyone, Vortex TCG here, and today I've got some gameplay videos featuring Dark Knightmon and my opponents will be playing Belfamon, a pretty hard matchup I think for myself. And uh, if you're looking forward to more Dark Knight content or just Digimon content in general, please do like and subscribe to the channel and uh, do follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, I usually provide updates on there. My opponent gets a pretty decent start with the Fascomon and then goes into Protogizmon hard playing it and then goes into to the hard play eyes on scatter mode so a really big turn for my opponent here i go into the skull knight mon and then skull knight cavalier mode so i can able to get two swings off do double swing and i hit the rage mode which is very unfortunate because essentially he's one more close or one step closer to getting the pieces that he needs he promotes the fasco mon he swings into security and it's a dorumon um, for some reason here i did not activate the dorumon's effect um, obviously i should do because uh, if you don't know Dorimon has a security effect that allows you to look at the top card if it's a play cost of four or less you get to play it if not you get to add it to hand and then you get to add the Dorimon to hand so uh, very frustrating for myself here he then plays the Gizumon XT deleting the Eismon scatter mode so he's going to be able to draw three here and discard two and then using the Gizmon XT effect I think he doesn't have the tamer so he isn't able to play the tamer uh, so now it's my turn and I I think this is the point where I completely forgot about the fact that Gizmon XD has blocker So he's just gonna show me here and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that Like my opponent let me take back. So that's nice of him. I don't think it really matters on the result though So uh, and you'll see why so uh, at this point, I'm kind of screwed um, I remember in my hand at this point. I did not have much sources to go off here uh, I did not I could not find a Dark Knight and I mulliganed before so that's very frustrating and even if I did find a Dark Knight here it wouldn't really help me much that unfortunately because um, Dark Knight in this matchup really does suck so um, yeah so I go into the Shakuri Mon from the Pagumon draw here and uh, yeah it's definitely hard dealing with this so i swing into security with the cavalier mode hit a fasco mon and at this point it's a bit worrying for me because I'm not too sure what i can really do here so i decided to play the deadly x mon to just trash one discard two this is a misplay that i fix very quickly but essentially uh, it needs to be a twilight card um and for some reason dark knight X is not a Twilight card, even though all the other cards in the set are classed as Twilight. So I do fix that very quickly. Um, I think, yeah, I'll just do it here, uh, discarding the Immortal Ruler as the only valid target. So pretty bad for me, but it doesn't really matter because I can't find a Dark Knight anyways. So um, yeah, just wanted to make sure that I wasn't cheating my opponent. So now, um, you know, he's got a lot of things going on here. He discards two Nidhogmon, which allows him to gain two memory, which, you know, just what else are you supposed to do at that point, right? Uh, he swings into the Cavalier mode to get rid of it, obviously. And uh, I think at this point, my opponent goes into the Astamon, using Astamon's effect, uh, delete to then go into a Belfamon, and then, yep, just check in here with the effects. Uh, Belfamon puts underneath, and I think the XT allows him to play a Proto Gizmon, that was a draw a card, and then trash a card. So, yeah, uh, at this point, I don't really have much faith that I'm able to deal with this board, unfortunately. Um, I can't really deal with the Belfimon sleep mode. Um, don't really have much deletion, unfortunately. So, uh, can't really, it's just a bit, it's a bit difficult, to say the least. Um, and he already has a pretty big field, so I won't be able to probably clear all of it. And the problem card is, obviously, I think the Gizmon AT here, because I won't be able to answer the AT because I can't go into a Dark Knight. Uh, I reveal the top four cards from the Nene. I add the Mighty X mode here, uh, which is something that I desperately needed uh, earlier uh, as well. But I do have a Dark Knight now, but unfortunately it doesn't really matter at this point because, well, I, I, I can't do anything. Like, let me just put it that way. So I'm looking at the trash here because I kind of want to force him to trash cards. Um, but I know he's going to bring out the Aston one as well, so or use the Aston one effect to bring out another Digimon. So I'm kind of stuck. And the thing that I'm thinking of here is that if I play Dark Knights, um, he would have to delete the Dark Knights, and then I'm able to play stuff from the Dark Knights. But I don't think that's going to help me win the game, unfortunately. So I go into a Dark Knight here for the, I'm, I'm considering 
my options here quite a bit because I mean I could potentially mess up pretty badly here so I decided to go into the Dark Knight anyways delete the proto Gizmon and then uh, yeah can't do anything so he then deletes all the guys essentially I revealed the Pagumon, then use the Dark Knight to. I'm thinking here if I want a Digicross. Um, and I believe I do because I kind of need to do it anyways if I just don't want to lose. So I end up doing this, going into Mighty X mode, do the reveal, look at the top three, add the Dark Knight, and then delete the Fasco. Not a great thing you want to do because you're just giving them more fuel, but unfortunately they don't really have much of a choice at this point. So at this point I've only got one blocker and my opponent is going to be very greedy. So he's going to swing into the security and if it does die, I mean it's really bad for my opponent. It does die here, but I believe actually it doesn't really matter because he does have the resources to play out the AT or the XT, sorry. And he's going to be able to play out a Tamer if he's got one, which I don't think he does still, but it doesn't really matter when you have a full field. So he swings into security, I let the two go, uh, hits nothing, uh, unsuspends, deleting the a a XT, then playing a Proto Gizmon, allowed to discard or draw one and discard one. And then he's going to be able to swing again. And that's going to force me to block with the Mighty Axe mode here. Um, I do have to block here, obviously, and then at this point, he plays uh, Call for Darkness, and uh, I can't really do much about this because he's going to go into the Belfamon and then put a Rage Mode underneath, protecting it. So, uh, might be able to control the field a little bit here, but it seems like I won't be able to do that. So, I'm going to hatch, I'm going to draw, see if there's any out, and there isn't, so we're going to go to game two. We're then going to get into game two and my opponent's going to start off here. He goes to the fast go and then goes to the Akiro. So yeah, uh, not very good <laughs> in my situation uh, as he's already got some setup going and he's going to be able to get that value very quickly. I go into Jakirimon here and I'm just considering my options. And so I just play the uh, Kiriha and Nene just to get some additional pressure going on so I can use my trash. He goes into the promotion of Fasco and then swings, hits a Chikurimon which is not very good in this situation because I would rather have it hit something else but obviously at this point it doesn't really matter because uh, this deck doesn't really have much digi evolution if I'm being honest so can't really do much about it unfortunately. He discards I believe an Astamon here uh, from the effect and then he goes and just plays another Akio. so he's got a bit of a slow start here so maybe I can capitalize but um, I need to do a lot of things to capitalize on such things so um, I'm gonna swing a security here hits a protomon AT uh, in reveal I get an immortal ruler which I cannot add unfortunately which is very unfortunate so I just passed the turn here by going into the my X mode I think I was still having trouble finding a dark knight here which is very frustrating um, so I'm just considering what I need to add here and I think what I decided to do is go for the monitor mon because uh, just getting a rookie is pretty nice but also the additional sh uh, search could be quite nice as well um, I just want to say apologies for cutting off the discard um, I was trying something a little bit more different with the recording and uh, unfortunately the discard was re uh, removed from the video so apologies for that so um he is going to promote the Fasco, or well not promote the Fasco, but uh, put, go into the Fasco here, and then he's going to consider his options. Um, he's got potentially quite a few options here. I think he has some of the, the Protomons, or the Gizmons even here. So he goes into the Gizmon AT here, which allows him to draw two and discard two. So he's giving me four memory here, which is quite nice, but um, I will also gain a memory, which is quite nice as well. So. Um, I think this is supposed to be for four, I don't understand why it's not for three, and then I gain five, go to five, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I go into, well, from the search from the monitor one, I add the uh, Dark Knight X and something else, I can't remember, unfortunately, um, here. And so I'm gonna use the Kirihara Nene. I'm thinking about it, actually. I'm gonna swing a security first, hit the XT, which is very unfortunate, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, I then go into Dark Knight, Placing the Mighty X mode that was just deleted underneath and also put the Skull Knight for free. And unfortunately, I can't delete anything because uh, Belfamon's annoying. <laughs> so he then does his Echo FX, which allows him to draw two, discard two. And then it's his turn again. So 
Um, it's got a lot of pressure going on here. Well, I've got a lot of pressure going on, but unfortunately, I don't think it really matters. Uh, he swings into security and hits the Dark Knight antibody. And so he then also has the AT swing that he might end up doing. Unfortunately, I don't have blocker, which would have been very nice to deal with the board here. But uh, what are you meant to do here? So he is deciding what he needs to do now. And as you can see, he's eyeing up that Def X mod. And as you can see here, he's considering it quite a lot. But I think he ends up going into the Def X one because if I'm being perfectly honest, this card alone just pretty much closes me out of the game most of the time. So I uh, can't really do much about that, unfortunately. So what I end up doing here is like, I try to use this as a turn to set up. So I go into the Nene here, get to add a card. I'll add the Monitor Mon here just because I need a level 3 to avoid the deletion from Def X. And so I end up playing the Monitor Mon here, revealing the top 4. And I only add the two cards I can from this. And so I'm at two memory left. And so I'm just considering what I should be playing. And I think here I end up playing uh, the... I think I'm considering the Digi Evolution Digi Cross requirements, using one from Trash. I think this might have been a small misplay for me. I think if I went into the normal Dark Knight from BT7, I think I could have potentially done more here because I could have played two bodies and gained some more advantage that way. But at the end of the day, I don't think there's much I could really do at this point. So he hasn't he hasn't sorted out a Belfam on board, so I'm not completely out of the game yet, I feel. But I think it's going to be happening very soon. So he just hard plays the Belvamon using, I believe, the Akiho effect to delete that to reduce the cost, putting a rage mode underneath, and I start to cry. So um, he also gets the AT trigger, so he gets to play the XT for free, play another Akiho, and uh, yeah, at this point, I kind of understand that this game is pretty much over because I can't get over 9k blocker, can't deal with the Death X, and I definitely can't deal with the Belvamon sleep mode. Um, so yeah, a bit of a sad way to end this game quite frankly. I'm looking at the trash to see if there's really any answer that I can do. Um, obviously my opponent, you know, played well, he had all the answers that he could. I misplayed quite a bit this game, I feel like if I went into potentially the Dark Knight from BT7 I could have maybe done something a little bit more here, um, but hey, this part of the game is and you know you learn from it. So I end up playing the... Uh, Pride memory boost here just to potentially get a protection for deletion, um, but uh, I do not, so that is very unfortunate. He's also just showing me that, like, yeah, like, even if you were to somehow survive this next turn, uh, I do have the answer for you, which is, you know, very reassuring. So I'm just looking at my trash here to see if there's any real answer, and I think I've come to the conclusion that there isn't really. I can't deal with, I can't de digivolve, I can't delete things, and this deck is a pretty big counter to me, so I end up scooping the game.